Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. In the last episode, we rescued basically everyone over here. And then the episode before that, we rescued everyone over here. Now, we are going to, first of all, talk to Cadwell. Then, while we're doing that, um... We're gonna finish up this stuff. Finish up all this stuff. Um, yeah. Now we just need to go over here. This has my knickers in a twist. We have a perfectly fine army, but what good is it? Sitting around this side of the chasm, twiddling its collective thumbs. It's rather embarrassing, if truth be told. What's the situation? The situation? We're well and truly flummoxed. Before we could cross the chasm, before we could confront Molog Dunda, we were stopped by a few irksome focus stones. The wee ginger mage says we need to break the stones, but good luck with that. The stones sounds easy. What's the problem? Nothing other than the multitude of Dramora sitting on top of them. I could handle this myself, but I didn't want to make the rest of the troops sad by showing off my awesome battle skills. But you, on the other hand, they're, they're used to that from you. Mm. Give me a second, guys. Let me uh, this over yonder. There we go. All right. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Down, 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 down the chasm we go. This is strong, but I don't need.
has rushed on ahead as usual. I shall proceed with caution and see if I can keep Good show! The attack. portal belongs to us now. Sir Darian and that lovely lizard have gone on ahead. I think he might be a bit intimidated by our prowess on the field of battle, and he's trying to compensate. Any idea what I should expect uh, should expect up there? Gunda's a cheeky one, and she knows we're getting close. She's summoning reinforcements faster than Darian can kill them. You'd best get to it. Genthis, Dethis, you two guard the portal. So anyone coming through to push ahead, the source of the It'll reinforcements must be cut off. Me. Watch and learn, my friend. Watch and learn. Let me show you how to close a Daedric portal. One Daedric portal closed, as promised. Now that's how to do it with style. Of course it is, Darian. Of course it is. Close this portal. The portal is closed. We make a most effective team, my friend. The uh nerds. <laughs> I got the barrier down. Molag Grunda has to know we're coming. The chasm is nearly ours. I'm going to see. I think our friends have the portals. Cadwell is up at the gatehouse. The two of you can deal with Molag Grunda. I think our friends have the chasm well in hand. What say we pop in for a chat with Molog Grunda? I'm ready when you are. Right, we control the rest of the chasm now, and the troops have matters well in hand. Let's go and have a sit down with Molog Grunda. She's always good for a laugh and a song. I like your optimism. What can we expect in there? From Grunda? Rudeness, hostility, sarcasm, and uh, most certainly a large amount of open hostility. I've no idea how she keeps house, but I imagine we'll find the usual Daedric touches that make Cold Harbor feel so warm and inviting. You find this warm and inviting? All right, all right. I'm ready. I can't wait to see Molar Grunda's face when she sees us. She and I go way back, you know. Once we get inside, we cross one little bridge to reach the gatehouse. Follow me. In the way. There's a trick to getting into the gatehouse proper, but for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. Not to worry, though. I'm sure it will come back to me. Oh, 
I'm sure it will, Cadwell. I'm sure it will. Ah, of course. I remember now. There's a flywheel in each of the side antechambers. We need to start them spinning to open the main door. It's all coming back to me. There's a lever across the chamber. Just give it a good tug, and that flywheel will be driven up in no time. I need healing! Stop healing. Unlock the gatehouse. What an impressive door. Look at that craftsmanship. Remarkable. Gr See, I knew that would work. A word of advice. Guard your pluckables. Grunter enjoys plucking out eyes, spleens, anything pluckable, really. Good to know. You wingless mortal fools. I'll feast on your flesh after my little pet rips it from your bones. You killed my darling creature! I'll tear out your hearts and serve them to my father on a silver platter! You know, I don't even know if, um... I know there's a lot of uh, nuances to whether or not uh, Molek Grunga was actually uh, Molek Ball's daughter or not. I don't even know if that's actually accurate. Let me know down in the comment section below. Well, that was disappointing. Hardly worked up a sweat. Gathwin is rounding up the troops. I asked her to keep an eye on Darien as well. He's a terror with the sword, but sometimes I think he takes too many chances. Meet me outside. We have things to discuss, and I find these Daedric halls extremely distasteful. Okay. While you were lollygagging, we secured the area. So the chasm is clear. You did well, my friend. Thanks to your efforts, we control the chasm and can freely move troops between the hollow city and the front lines. Take a moment to collect your thoughts, then come see me again. As soon as you're ready, we have another mission that could use your unique approach. What's the problem this time? Vampires. The region beyond is crawling with them. Worse, 
anyone we send in there is turned into one of the foul monsters. And do you see the structure that looms on the horizon? I believe that's one of Molag Ball's infamous harvest hearts. What do I need to do? Eager and confident. I like that. I need you to collect blood from the vampires. It's an integral component in the pacification ritual I will perform. Use the blood to mark their layers. I'll meet you near the heart when you're finished. What are you still doing here? I have my preparations to deal with. And I've read accounts. All right. So there is a way to deal with this quest without actually killing the vampires. Um, if you side with her, um, well, you'll 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 find out who she is in a moment, but. That was her. That was definitely her. So you can actually um, side with her. God damn it. So if you side with her, she'll actually help you in the final fight, which is very much helpful. and he's letting me destroy it. I think I'm supposed to collect the vampire blood then, Mark. Yes. need one more and yeah, why not right. now we'll see if it works I can't actually remember this quest but I know how it ends Go to the side quest later. Such a cruel and distasteful chore the air has cast you.
foul temptress. I'll hear no more of your lies. Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your companion will be more willing to listen to reason. I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. What are you suggesting? The ritual the elf plans to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Molag Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. Tell me more, mm, tell me more about what you're proposing. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Molag Ball. All right. A most wise and honorable decision. I'll follow you to the ritual sites. Protect me while I perform the ritual, and we will break Molag Ball's hold on my children. Ooh, and a uh, chest. Perform this portion of the ritual. of the ritual is complete.
time has come to perform the ritual and destroy the Harvest Heart. My children yearn to be free. Tell me how I can help. The black blood flowing from the Harvest Heart binds my children to Molag Bal. But it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the Harvest Heart, you must sever the connection to Molag Bal. And how do I do that? Find the Lord of Schemes binding totems and destroy them. They are spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, my children will be separated from Molag Bal, and the energy protecting the Harvest Heart will falter. Harvest Heart is destroyed! The Harvest Heart has been destroyed. My children are no longer slaves to Molag Bal. Most certainly. Thanks to your efforts, my children are free. They won't give you any more trouble. And, as I promised, my children will aid you when you need it most. Alright. Another successful mission. But we're not finished yet. Get wrecked, sons. Ah! 
I can't... I can't bear to watch someone die again. Oh, Stibbons. That poor, poor man. Is someone in trouble? This manner. It's not what it seems. And now poor Stibbons has been caught in its embrace. Without help, he will surely die, just like the others. It will be dangerous, but perhaps you can go inside and convince him to leave before it's too late. I'll speak to Stibbons. Hello. <laughs> Bottoms up. Don't mind. Fancy meeting you here, my friend. It's good to see you again. You don't appear to be in mortal danger. Hardly. I haven't received this much adoration. Well, ever. The sisters are even going to throw a celebration in my honor. Doesn't that sound exciting? I'll be at the banquet tables with Rayima. Introduce yourself to Nuzara and Sheafa, then join me. As you wish. Make yourself comfortable, stranger. Everything the manor of revelry has to offer is yours for the taking. When you stepped through our gates, you left behind the harsh confines of a cold harbor. Now you are our welcome guest. Enjoy yourself. You look so tense. You need to... Why concern yourself with the whys and hows of this realm? This... Mm-hmm. Yeah, well... Yay, I can actually ride my mountain here. Thank God. I've never felt that. Hello. That was delicious. Why don't we head over to the pools and take a nice, relaxing soak? You cannot fool me. There is something different about you. I knew it. You saw through the illusion, didn't you? I was in Meridia's city the day she plunged it into Cold Harbor. Like many, I was lost and alone in the wilderness. Then I found this manor. When the sisters discovered that I was a servant of Meridia, they decided to torment me for eternity. How did they torment you? The sisters find it amusing to watch me fret over their meals. But Stibbons has a good heart. He doesn't deserve the fate they have planned for him. The sisters hope to turn me to their side eventually. But they never will. My faith is too strong. What do you mean? Nuzara 
Raima and Shafer rule here through the use of deception and illusion. You saw through the illusion, at least briefly. You're different from Stibbins. You can save him. Funny story. Do you think me beautiful? Where am I going? The manor is everything you hoped for, isn't it? But look at you. You could really use a bath. Simmons wants to soak in your pool. That's an excellent idea. And you're welcome to join him. In fact, I insist. Be oh, we've become very close in the time he's been with us. He's such a fascinating man. I hope we can... Shafer is trying to deceive you. If you listen to me and do exactly what I tell you, I'll help you see through their illusions. How can you help me? Take these cleansing reagents and go to the pools. Place the reagents in the basin. They will break through the illusion and let you see the manner as it truly is. Once this occurs, you will be in mortal danger. The sisters prefer their meals happy and deceived. Can't possibly be Did it work? Yes, I can see it in your eyes. Now you can see things as they really are. Stibbins went up to the manor hand in hand with Shafer. I tried to warn him, but he ignored me. You've got to save him. You can see through the illusion now. This is how I actually appear. For all their power, the sisters couldn't truly harm me as long as I serve Meridia. in the manor. Is there a second floor to this place? Shafer has the key. She took it downstairs. Please, get that key.
Thank you. Now just give me a moment to deal with my nakedness situation. Stebbins! Thank the Radiant Mother you're all right. When I saw Realma with your jewels, I feared the worst. All right? How can you say that? They have my dear Lady Laurent's jewels. She will be quite distraught if I don't retrieve them. At least you're alive. That's something. I know a secret tunnel by the pools. I can lead you there while our friend fetches your lady's jewelry. What do you think? Thanks for the help, friend. They... I've been trying to become more of a help to Lady Laurent, so I've been taking dueling lessons. I think I can keep us safe until you return. Find my lady's missing jewels and meet us at the secret tunnel near the pools. Pottery chamber, okay. Come for the jewels, woman. My dueling lessons have finally paid off. We made it down here with almost no trouble. Well, Fatahala helped a little. Did you find Lady Laurent's jewels? Here are, the, here are your lady's jewels. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. The secret exit that Fatahala showed me is behind this rock. Give me a second to equip a weapon and we can head out. I'm ready when you are. These Daedra tried to keep me from my dear Lady Laurent. It's time to make them pay. Shit, 
Sorry for the little sniffly guys. I, mean, I have a, re a little bit of a runny nose for some reason. Allergies, probably. A little bit of allergies. But uh, to, truth be told, allergies have been kind of like kicking my ass these past couple months. these things keep happening to me, I wonder. Will you be all right now? I think so, thanks to you. I need to find Lady Laurent and make sure she's all right. She can get so flustered without me. I'll lead Fatahala to the Hollow City. Those dueling lessons were certainly worth the gold. Finish your preparations. Sith is blind me. Look who it is. Seeing you is the first good news since we landed here. If How did you get here? In, a whirlpool. It pulled in our ship and dropped us here. We fell right out of the sky. We went looking for the shipwrecks of the lost fleet. Never expected to find them in another world entirely. Is this all that remains of your crew? These and a few others. I sent the rest with my first mate, Jalan, up that canyon to investigate the nearest wreck. I'm about to lead these lovers to check out a second wreck. Anything we find will be more than we have now. Need any help? We're off to search the second wreck. I'd be obliged if you could follow Jalan's wake and see what's keeping him. Bring him along to the other wreck, so's I can dress him down for being a lazy lackwit. If he ain't I'm curious dead, about something. Ask away, oh. mate, but be quick about it. We need many a year I've sailed the seas around Tamriel, but I've never seen its like. It was vast, larger than all Alton Coromont, and it spun up all sudden-like. No wonder sailors call the waters around Thras the Cursed Sea. And why did you sail into something called the Cursed Sea? We were searching for the shipwrecks of the All Flags fleet. Do you know the legend? Scores of ships lost at sea. I found the log of Admiral Olo's navigator. That... Well, all right then. God damn it. I'm slow. Oh, you're about scared. 
scared me out of my pelt. At least there's flesh on your face. Where did you come from? Your captain sent me to find you. Oh, she did, did she? And where were you when my crew was being killed by walking skeletons? No matter. It's just you and me now. You, me, and this door. And the door. Oh, aye, but it'll make a lot of noise. Likely to attract more of those bony swabs. Tell you what. I'll work on the door if you'll keep the bone boys off me. Deal? Hello. I already don't like you. You're acting very sus. Suspicious. Yeah, you're acting very suspicious. That's cool. to hope you weren't coming in. Look at all this treasure. Wait. What's happening? I feel strange. My skin. My fur. What? What? Ah! Fools can't resist cast treasure. Now you are mine to control. Cursed, Daedra, take it. Cursed. A curse on all my crew. They got excited and rushed to grab the treasure. The gold. It turned them into skeletons. Then some kind of specter appeared and ordered my own crew to attack me. I had to kill them. Curse the luck. Now we find the spook that ensorcelled my crew and destroy it. Wasting good treasure by putting a curse on it. Now that's foul play by Sithis. Aye, that I did. And I swear on the blood of me crew that Spook will pay for this wicked trick. You have come to a very bad place. Have you come to kill us, Lizard Bones? No, I have come to save you. Listen to me, child. Why are you here? Why have you come searching for this damned fleet of the lost? Treasure. You won't find that here, but revenge, I, revenge might just be possible. Find the Admiral and destroy him. He's using the ruins of the fleet to build his coral tower. He wants to reach the portal in the sky. We're his slaves, working endlessly to make his mad desires come true. There are many who wish we could rebel. But the Admiral holds the Crown of Bones. Morlog Ball himself gave him that terrible relic. With it, the Admiral controls the cursed skeletons of the fleet. But you aren't cursed yet. Where will we find the Admiral? I hid the final chapter of my journal in the hold of my ship, the Golden Era. It's docked at the Skeleton Village. My journal holds the key to reaching the Admiral's Sanctuary. 
You want to help them to Sona, eh? Fool, you can't defy the crown of bones. Kill them! No, I can't. Not my own blood. <laughs> Most entertaining! That Admiral Spook Sithis sink him seems to control all the skeletons. And he did. He showed me the Admiral's control isn't absolute. Meet me at the wreck of the Golden Era, and we'll find... I see your skin is still on your bones. I searched the rest of the ship, but there's no sign of the journal. Did you indeed? That be well. Let me see it. I have a plan, but it only includes me. Hmm. Maybe I will at that. Let me see that journal, mate. What's this? Alton Coromont. Sithis, take it. This is not but the ravings of a madman. Where's the secret he promised? Ah, that'll be the key that gets us into the Admiral. Or rather, you. I need you to get that crown of bones thing. I've got another task ahead of me. Oh, I do. And I've seen you in action, so I expect to get it. But the dead skeletons had mates in his crew from my village. That makes them relatives even ancestors may have. I think I can use that connection to break their bondage. Worth a try. The key must open the Admiral's Coral Tower. Take it. Enter the tower and kill the Admiral. Okay. to work on me, so he had me busted to bits and me bones thrown away, and the only smash up some of these
just need a hip bone, please. Where is... hold on. Is it behind? Please tell me it's behind. found some long-lost relatives the shock of seeing me has knocked them out from under the crown's control but it won't last that be the crown right there what are you going that there crown of bones it's cursed be like you could destroy it that might set the sailors free or it might destroy them I have another proposition for you give the crown to me Why? <laughs> Why? Why would I? I don't trust you. I must ask you to reconsider, mate. I've got a quarrel with this here Molog Ball, and I intend to lead these sailors against him. Afterwards, I'll set them all free, assuming we survive. I, but Molog Ball made it for the Admiral, not for me. I know a trick or two I learned from an old shaman. First, we go up against Molog Ball. 
That's a swab what needs taken down a peg, and I'm just the lizard to do it. Stand back then, mate. Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Please, please tell me the... Yes, it is back here. Okay. That's a neat little art. That thing ate my, my soul. They've taken my soul. Tell me what happened. They took our souls. They fed them to some sort of anguish gem. And now I'm the only one left. Can you destroy the gem before I wind up like the rest of the, the anguish gem? Some rather nasty thing.
You destroyed the Anguish Gem, didn't you? I feel different somehow. You did? I knew it! That's wonderful! I can't thank you enough! Now I won't wind up like the rest of these poor wretches. I have my soul back, and I'm getting out of here! Here comes the champion, for just games. in time, as all Mortals we have come so far. So amusing. I offer information, aid for your quest, and you shun me. You expect us to trust a creature of the plains? Ridiculous! A mare as arrogant as a kin. How delightful. I do so love watching egotistical braggarts stumble. I may allow you to reconsider and accept my offer. Of course, I may not. I haven't decided yet. You there! Find out where that creature is lurking. I want her watched. We have come so far. But we have leagues to go before this business is concluded. We must push forward. We must find a way through the walls of the fortified city that looms ahead of us. Ready to help. <clears throat> a Dramora army guards the walls of the Citadel, but there are those among us who recognize the city, who knew it well before it was pulled from Nern. We can use the guild halls inside to launch a surprise attack, provided someone prepares the way. Find a way inside and locate the Fighters Guild. Wards protect the hall, making it impossible for anyone to get in or out of the building. We know a secret tunnel that leads into the hall, but we'll be trapped inside until the wards are deactivated. Time is not on our side, but I will indulge you. Ask your questions. The wards are part of the defenses from an earlier era. They could be activated to protect guild halls in times of trouble. Once set, the ward key, even the str entertaining to watch you bumble about the Citadel. I would much rather just see you get about your business. I'm sure that whatever you have planned will ultimately work in my favor. Why don't you just tell me what you're talking about? Right to the point? How distressful. Oh, very well. You seek a way into the Citadel, one that won't attract any undue notice. As it happens, I know just the thing. Why are if you, you helping follow us? The east wall, never look a gift day droth in the mall, little mortal. I offer information, nothing more. The warded building you seek is near the main gate. The kin will try to stop you. If they don't succeed, we will speak again. I'll let the others know that you've got a way in. Oh. 
Spotted an unusual I ugh, my goodness. Ooh, cold heart for Pathfinder, nice. I spotted some unusual activity in a cave beyond the graveyard of lost ships to the southeast. I wanted to find out more, but I felt it was more prudent to report in. If I can avoid the roaming skeletons and make it back back to the main force, then I then I can deliver my, my report to whoever whoever's in charge of the Fighters Guild forces when I get there. Hello, Lyra. And so, the little mortal, once more into the breach. I believe the Aeliot King wants you to find a hidden key. Hurry. I think your friends have already made it into the sealed hall. And why isn't the break in the wall guarded? How amusing. The little mortal suspects a trap. You are wise to fear the duplicity of Dramora, but I assure you that you are safe enough. Illusions hide this area from the kin. Just a little trick I recently picked up. What can I expect inside the Citadel? Death, most likely. The kin that guard this Citadel will try to kill you. It's generally what we do. The old hall you seek is near the main gate. If I were you, and most thankfully I am not, I would make my way there post haste. Okay. Okay, you are fuck you. I knew you'd be able to deactivate the wards. The Fighters Guild troops have already begun our two-pronged attack. And what do we need to do to launch, launch phase two? The fighters will draw the attention of the Dramora while you go to the upper city. For the mages to utilize their guild hall's portal, you need to get it working. Find the four portal stones and activate them. Then the mage... the gates again. We've got to stop them.
You did it again, my fearless friend! Well done! With the Dramora caught between my powerful mages and King Dinar's relentless fighters, they won't know which way to turn. Two-pronged attack is underway. What's the next step? The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild will complete the conquest of the Citadel. But we need someone to storm the Pyramid Stronghold and deal with the leader of this installation, Volcanaz Ceres. That someone, my friend, is you. Uh, take out... take out the Volcanaz? Got it. Your common vernacular aside, that is indeed the critical task. Volcanaz Ceres has a key to the Labyrinth. Eliminating the Vulcanaz and obtaining that key are critical components to your curiosity no part of Molog Ball's stronghold. It's a maze of tunnels that lead to the endless stair. No doubt the path is littered with traps and dangers, but we must push on. Do 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 do. Tons of Zarxus, what is that thing? Make it go away! Make it go away! Only those of Daedric blood may enter the pyramid, little mortal. Can you open the way for us? I told you that you'd need my help. A Daedric ritual locks this door, and only a willing offering of kin blood will open it. I am your key to Valkanaz Ceris. You are my key to vengeance. That I cannot do, little mortal. If the Valkanaz is banished by my hand, I will lose honor and standing. If you kill him, however, I remain true to my word. And Ceris abides in the darkness with my lost clan until Cold Harbor allows him to return. All right. I hope you brought the key. We're ready to make the final push, but we're finished if we can't get inside. How odd that the Dramora aided us against her kin and Molag Ball. She must have had a powerful thirst for vengeance. And Our forces have gathered and are ready to move. Well done. We want you. The Mages Guild stands ready to do our part for this effort. 
Um, the Fighters Guild is ready. We're prepared to follow you into the very... Of course. We've already sent in a small force, a distraction. While they keep the enemy occupied, you slip in and open the labyrinth. As you clear a path, you need to be able to... The Mage's Guild stands ready to do our part for this. Molag Bal is using tactics similar to what we faced in the chasm. He set up a portal to move his troops around quickly. As you head in to open the labyrinth, we need you to close that portal. King Dinar insists that the initial strike be fast and precise. He doesn't want the entire army getting in your way or causing Molag. Me? Really? You ever get the feeling you were meant to... I've dreamed of this moment. Seriously, I always knew... I was hoping you'd say... Have you selected a... Com Very well. Come with me and I'll explain the exact details of your mission. Our forces are gathered, and the time has come to strike fast and strike hard. Time is not on our side, so we must make every moment count. Troops are already inside. Fighting and holding ground, causing a distraction so that you can deal with Molag Baal's ability to call reinforcements. Darien the Brave joins you on your first assault. Allow his courage to be your beacon in the darkness. Close the reinforcement portal. That is your first priority. Gabrielle and her forces will join you then for the push to the labyrinth. Once the labyrinth is opened, you must make your way through Molag Bal's personal sanctum and find the portal to the planar vortex. That is your ultimate objective. If we are to end the plane meld, we must disrupt the planar vortex and cease its destructive storm. Take your brave companion and venture forth. Close the reinforcement portal so that our that forces can wage war on the Daedric Prince. It doesn't seem too far. Then open the there is an entire army of Daedra between here and there, but it's not too far at all. Our destiny is in your hands. The Dark Lord's vile scheme fails today. I gave you my oath, and I honor such commitments. You sampled my power at the cliffs of failure. Use the power of my thorns as you see fit. Take this seed. What do you want? Send out a welcoming committee.
Why do the mission objectives always have such large and powerful guardians? No longer will the force of the darkness be only ways for evil. We stand by you, champion. <laughs> Make an excellent team if I do say so myself. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. As soon as I now that we don't have to worry about overwhelming hordes of reinforcements, we're sending in the main assault force. While they keep Molog Ball's minions busy, you need to navigate the labyrinth and find the portal to the plain air vortex. You want me to enter, uh, enter the labyrinthian uh, labyrinth on my own? Of course not. Even I am not so foolish as to enter Molog Ball's inner sanctum myself. Gabrielle and her mages will accompany you inside. Oh, you'll know the source of our world's destruction when you see it. Just find a way through the labyrinth. And okay. Oh, this motherfucker? This is so big. I never expected the prince to be much of a reader. But all these books, imagine the wealth of knowledge they contain. I could spend years in here. If we didn't have more important matters to deal with, I mean. What's going on in here? We can't get out of this room. The door on the other side won't budge, and we haven't been able to figure out the mechanism yet. And how can I help? Search around the room, I guess. Who knows? You might find something useful among the dark tomes and old fables about lusty arc. <laughs> I love it. What do you have to say? I recognize these devices. I've researched them, even written reports about them. Never saw one in person, though. They are marvelous to behold. Only a god could craft an artifact of such brilliance. And does that mean you know how to open the gate? I have a notion. It involves the large metal tubes on the walls. According to my research, they resemble a Daedric device that requires a source of power to operate. But, as you can plainly see, no power flows through them at the moment. So we need to find a source of power. A fair assumption. Do you see the small openings near each of the tubes? If we can figure out how to move these icy flames over to them, that should provide the power to open the door. Alright, this was such an annoying... <laughs> Hated this part. I really did. There we go. Listen to this cue, this book. I simply touch it. There we go. I always hated this area. When I, when I first did it, I remember how annoying it was, and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Bump, bump. 
bum. You would think Zer would be fearless in the face of darkness. You would be wrong. The darkness is obviously designed to hinder our progress. An interesting conundrum, yes? Uh, can you help me cross, cross this chamber? Of course. Zer would not be here if he could not help. This one gives you the light to guide your way. Be wary where you step, for the darkness will most likely be the least of your worries. the bridge that's your room eh oh god I remember A one -way this door. looks like we can only go forward from here I hope the others are alright I can't imagine we have too much farther to go we just need to cross this region and we'll find stick close to me there's probably These statues move, don't they? There has to be a way to get out of here. Wait a moment. Something bad is about to happen. Sometimes I hate it when I'm right. Here they come. door open. Hold them off while I work on this. find them here interesting I've never been to this area before but it's breathtaking Cadwell Cadwell takes some getting used to Cadwell takes some getting used to I must admit but he really is an amazing fellow he wait a moment what happened where's the rest of your team doors sealed behind us only Gabriella and I made it this far well the others will have to fend for themselves for the time being I'll send Cadwell to find them shortly. Things are looking grim outside, by the way. We've lost many fine men and women already, and the battle is far from over. What happened? Even without his portal, Molog Ball has the ability to throw an unlimited number of forces at us. We're holding our own, but just barely. Winning isn't our goal, though. We just need to survive long enough for someone to reach the plane air. Far too many. Hanan was caught by surprise and wiped out along with a large number of Fighters Guild soldiers. King Dinar's group was also ambushed, but he managed to fight his way out of it. 
Many were wounded, though. Time is running out. Thank Cadwell for that small favor. I'm not sure how he does it, but I think he's grown so attached to Cold Harbor that he's actually become part of it. Unfortunately, he can only teleport one other person at a time, and it is a lengthy process. The portal that leads to the planar vortex is just around the bend. Molog Ball won't simply let you walk up to it, though. He's going to do everything he can to stop you. I'll provide what help I can, and as usual, it will be considerable. Now go! Talk to somebody, don't I? Form better than I expected. Even in the face of unrelenting danger and the worst horrors Oblivion has to offer. Like you, I have come to finish this. Thanks to the efforts of your army, you have gotten this far without drawing the gaze of Molag Ball. I use a similar distraction to travel through this disagreeable realm unmolested. You're more than a simple groundskeeper, aren't you? Keep working on it. You will solve the riddle, eventually. You must enter the planar vortex. The interstices of space and time, where Nern and Cold Harbor churn and meld. Destroy the dark anchors within. Unleash the power of a light of Meridia at the focal point of the plane meld, and disrupt the vortex. The life of one insignificant mortal to save an entire world? It is a small sacrifice. If you succeed, the brilliance of the unleashed light will consume the vortex and sever the plane meld. Nern will be safe. Ask your quest. You cannot hope to succeed without the support of your allies. I will summon those who still live and draw them into the vortex with us. The light of Meridian. Okay. Endless stare. Did I mention Cold Harbor is my least favorite place? <laughs> chains than that to stop me. Come. You seem surprised, mortal. 
Did you not suspect my true identity? I did not pretend, mortal. I am the groundskeeper. I merely hid the fact that I am also a Daedric Prince. My plans have been long in the making. Had I revealed myself too soon, I could have jeopardized everything. Why, why does the Great Meridian need my help? Do not presume to question my motives. Suffice it to say, you mortals only see life as precious because it ends. Take it from a god. You'll never know how fortunate you are. Your allies have arrived. Speak to them before we continue. behind us was dreadful, but this place, it boggles the mind. Still, we've made it this far. Victory is within our... I've seen the rise and fall of my people. Yet I stand before you, the last of my kind. I am the last alien. Cruel tyrants and conquerors, who believed ourselves better than the other races of Nern. When the lesser races decided we were the enemy and united against us, our downfall was all but guaranteed. We were too stubborn to see where we were wrong. That is a reason I am the last king of the alien. Meridia and Molochbal have always hated each other with a fiery passion, but that hatred has cost so many of our lives. I have a notion to show them both why Vanis Galarian's power should be feared. Chances. I don't believe in luck or fortune. We'll win this day with blood and magic, or we'll die trying. The same thing that happens to everybody. The world ends and everyone dies. No, we can't. But we're not the chosen ones. We're not heroes of destiny fated to succeed. We're simply soldiers, brothers and sisters fighting for what they care about. We're united and that makes us strong. That's what's in It's good to know your faith. I always wanted to see a planar vortex up close and personal. Isn't that? Of course! Ah, oh, our epic quest it must have slipped my mind. I've been on so many of these adventures, you know. After a while, they tend to blend together, kind of like these two realms are doing. Oh, so yes, yes, I knew that. Terrible getting your dismal world into the wondrous vistas of Cold Harbor. Like dipping bread in honey. Frightfully repulsive. Still, I believe this might just be my best quest yet. Well, that'd just be disgusting, wouldn't it? You know where honey comes from? It's regurgitated flower nectar. Oh, very well. I accept your challenge. Now, let's go and fit concern. If we'd known all this was happening, maybe my people could have stopped it. Valenwood is part of Nern, after all. That's... I've spent my life hiding in a dark forest. I've never seen the sky over Valenwood, or felt real rainwater on my skin. Molag Bal lied to us, and I'll never forgive him for that. I'm proud to be a part of all this. We'll adjust to our true home again in time. For many of us, it will be the first time we get to see our homeland. That will be... It's better to die fighting for what you believe in, than to die fat and content. I read that in the book. It wasn't a good book, but the phrase stuck with me. And I believe it too. You showed me that there was more to life than that dark forest. You gave me hope. For that, I'll fight at your side till this end. Did I hear that right? We're going to blow the Vortex apart. Great. But how do we get out of here once the light explodes? Please, that's not an idea. We're just going to plant a magical explosive and hope for the best. I thought my brother Raynor's ideas were... I'm not sure I can take much more of this. People are dying. I've lost friends. People I looked up to. That was different. Deshaun. East March, those places were ordinary compared to this place. I know. And that's why I'll stand with my brother and with you. With all these... You better not let us down. I thought for sure we were done with all this. 
I followed the others. As I said, I thought we were finished. I figured that Varnus opened a portal to send us back home. Imagine my consternation and surprise when I realized where we actually were. Sadly, my supply of gadgets, as you call them, is running dangerously low. The few items I have remaining will have to see my sister and me through. You make it so. I imagined that this was going to be a grand adventure, but I never pictured the horror of all this. So many of our friends and companions have died, and this damn vortex still threatens our world. I think it's time we shut it down. Permanently. Damn right I'm determined. And more than a little irritated at all this. Come on, hero. Let's show Molag Ball how it's done. Then I can get back to- I think we can. Most people dream of lusty Argonians with delectable dishes. But not old Darien. Oh no, I dream about planar vortexes and blinding lights of Meridia. How is that possible? And why do I keep asking- Why waste words when I can simply show you? Look around. I've been dreaming about this place since I was a young boy. Seeing it live and in person, that's a bit- With a blinding light. Brighter than any I've ever seen. Then I'm in a room where everything's illuminated. As if the world itself is made of light. I'm alone. And then I wake up. It's always the same. And I'll soon wake up in a really bright room, too hungover to remember what I did, I hope. But that's not likely, is it? I'm alive. Which is more than I can say for a lot of the soldiers out there. I keep thinking I've made it this Speak to your friends. The Lord of Brutality uses dark anchors to bind this vortex. We must destroy all three before the power of Meridia's light is unleashed. Otherwise, the resulting backlash could destroy Nern as surely... Meridia's light again. So it be... The chains bind both planes. We cannot use the light until those chains are destroyed. Go What you, oh, that's why you ultimately failed. <laughs> it's because you're so confident. You did not expect people to unite against you. No 
everyone else dies today. That's the an order. Approaches. Come on, let's go set the light. It attempts to break the darkness. But the darkness is strong. Our father, our god, he is the darkness. He shall repel the flying approaches. He will consume the light. He will tear it apart. He will destroy it. He will destroy Our father it. has spoken. He wishes us to challenge you and you alone. You believe the blight can destroy my clay belt? The prince thinks I would allow this. She is more foolish than I thought. Most curious. This light powers you somehow. Meridia, where are you hiding? Oh, how sad. You were drafted into a war you could never win. Mary My council shall destroy you. I tired of this game. Now you shall die. Get behind my shield. Did you think it would be that easy? My minions will tear you apart. The planar vortex is destroyed. Molog Ball's plane meld is at an end. Am I dead? You are mortal. You began to die the moment you were born. You are not fully dead. Not yet. Your song has only just begun, and many verses still lay before you. Those present when you shattered the light were under my protection. They gather in the room beneath us, saying their farewells. Those who were not a part of the final battle? I can. The Aeliad King suffered grievous wounds. He is near death, but he has not passed yet. The Vortex has been destroyed. I designed this place to be familiar and calming to you. It is a small pocket of oblivion, under my protection. No harm will come to you here. The plane. You are mortal. Do you not see how singular you are? How remarkable. You entered the realm of a Daedric prince, gathered an army strong enough to fight his legions, and saved your mortal world. You are a valuable asset, mortal. You will be of great use to us. For the nonce, we require nothing. 
But the Dark Princes have taken notice of you, and they have plans, and plans within plans. Prepare yourself, and be ready when Oblivion calls. All right. Time has finally come, it seems. I have... I have lived far longer than any of my people. Finally, I will... I will be able to join them once more. What happened? Meridia's shield protected the others. Darien and I were outside the shield, dealing with Morlock Baal's dam portals. I watched as light filled your body. You were a beacon. And the last thing I will ever see. Darkness fills my eyes. As the light erupted around me, someone pushed me closer to Meridia's shield. It was too late to save me, but it did bring me here. My fate doesn't matter. I'm gladdened by the thought that Nern is safe. Then I shall... I shall rest well, knowing my final day, the final day of the alien people, was spent saving Nern from the clutches of Molag Baal. At night, I... Save your strength, King Dunner. I want you to have this. A gift from my people to the hero of Nern. To honor you and those who fell beside me in this great battle. Thank... Thank you. May the spirits guide me on my way. We will honor the Iliad King for his sacrifice this day. We will honor everyone's sacrifice this day. I'm still trying to work that out myself. When you touched the light, you erupted in holy flame. We thought we had lost you, truth be told. I've never seen destruction like that before. Even Molag Bal reeled in pain from its touch. I don't know. Anyone not in the Vortex should have been protected from the blast. But I have no way to know if they survived the actual assault. Anyone inside besides us? I can only imagine the light took them quickly. As am I, my friend. As am I. Let's leave this place once and for all. May the companions we lost along the way find their own way home. How many did we lose today? I... I can't even count. I fear going back home, seeing who survived and who didn't. It's all just so... Over How can you ask me that after what we've been through? Darian, the King, so many injuries. I don't know. He wasn't here when we arrived. I... I didn't see him. When the light erupted, Vanus, Dinar, and I appeared here. No one else. Just us. I... I think Dar... Wow, that's the first crash in a hot minute. That's the very first latest game 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 is seems the launch is gonna be put what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Game Corrupted files my ass. Yeah, that's the first time time I had a a long time I had a crash. Corrupted files. I want to turn in this quest so I can say that I've done all of Cold Arbor.
<clears throat> I think that's the first crash I've ever had, or, or in a, not the first crash I've ever had, but it hasn't crashed in, uh, in, in quite some time. quest oh okay actually Good to see you again, friend. So much death and destruction. I don't know. More sad news. This wretched domain is full of it. Still, it's better to know what happened to Natira than to wonder what fate befell her. Thank you for that. Good to see you again, friend. The trip was not without its perils, but everyone watched out for each other. The groundskeeper told us we could settle here. In the Shining Star Inn. Rather nice place, hmm? Don't you think? It is nice. Did your father come with you? Yes. He gets tired easily, but we keep an eye on him. I'm glad you told me to try to forgive him. He made a dreadful mistake. I can tell he grieves at the suffering he caused. At heart, he is a good man. Did you tell the other patients what really happened? No. I thought about it. I'm glad he was honest with me. The others would just get angry at him, and what purpose would that serve? Everyone just accepts that some strange curse befell us, and that you came along and broke it. Oh. <coughs> All right, then. I think that's everything. Next. How many delves did I not do? What? Oh, I don't think I did this. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. And obviously, there's a good ton of world bosses, apparently. Let's see more. One, two, three, four. I trying to find the other one. <laughs> trying to find the other one. Um. I'm missing it? Hello? Seriously, am I missing it? Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? Oh, six. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Fine goods at fair prices. Anyways. Well, I will leave it there, guys. Um, but yeah. Um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh... This episode, um, yeah, we finally finished Cold Harbor, and uh, next we will be doing the main quest, the main main quest, and then I'll be live streaming Felonwood, probably on Twitch. Um, 
and everything. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I'll probably be streaming it on Twitch. Maybe on YouTube if, you know, if I decide on what to do. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.